Hey, it's Nathan, and today I wanted to do a 2023 review of just math things that I do. Um, so this is going to just be like grad school stuff, also YouTube things, and I'll talk about my analytics and all of that stuff as well. I'm also like sitting down to film like seven or eight chalkboard videos right now too, so I've already like filmed the boards for those, and I have to film the like I talk the thing uh, bits of them. I guess like the coolest thing that happened this year is that uh, I had a paper that was published. Um, I talked about this several times throughout updates throughout this year. I think it came up in almost every update that I did um, about how math PhD things were going. Um, this paper really kicked off a lot of my success this year with research, just like the process of working on this REU with the undergrads. It led to me getting invited to my first like international conference, which was very cool. So there's the Ames Conference in Wilmington, North Carolina that took place this summer. Uh, and then I got to meet one of my, I guess like m one of my advisors, former students, and I got to talk to them about what they do in random dynamics. And so I got to so it sort of like broadened my horizons a little bit because I got to sort of like start working with them on some stuff as well. Uh, so research wise, to, this year has gone very, very well. Now, am I behind or I feel behind in a lot of these projects because some of them I haven't looked at for a while because I've been focused on my dissertation? Yes, of course. But I think it's, it's like interesting because in math, especially, you're not in a lab setting. So a lot of the times when you're doing research activities, it kind of feels like you're in a room by yourself and you're just throwing things at the wall to see what sticks. Uh, and when you're a graduate student who doesn't necessarily know what research looks like, and especially I go to a school that's more teaching focused, I guess, like a lot of how they set up the program is meant to give us like a wide breadth of mathematical knowledge. And then we teach a lot compared to other places. And then um, our dissertation is kind of like not as much of a focus or research in general is not as much of a focus because a lot of, we don't start researching really with a professor until like on average like the third or fourth year depending on where you are. But when you're when you're at the when you're like wanting to study math and you go out and you start to like do the thing where you get on Google Scholar and you're like I know some math I'm gonna go search some papers and you find these papers and you see that there's like four or seven like authors on these papers or somewhere in that range or maybe a little less or maybe a little more but there are always like multiple people on papers for the most part and it can be very confusing to be like okay well how did we go from i'm in a room doing math problems by myself thinking about these things by myself to like writing a paper with other people and how does that collaboration work um and so uh I guess I kind of got a little bit of a taste of this in undergrad, but um, I don't think it was until I started working on the paper that got published this year, uh, back in, I guess, like, during the pandemic, really. Um, and then going to the conference and meeting Mathematical Older Bro, and just, like, talking to them and starting to th do the thing that it sort of makes more sense to me. It doesn't make perfect sense to me. I don't really know the whole process, but uh, it seems like collaboration is more possible than I thought it was before. Uh, and I think that was like a big stepping stone for me as well. The other major research thing that has happened is that I've started working on my dissertation. And I wrote, I wrote this like reflection of stuff. So I, so I wrote down, quote, I feel like I'm exiting a phase of stagnation. I can make progress towards my goals. Like, um, and I think that was like a big theme over the past year. Cause when you start working on your dissertation and like, I did a lot of preparatory reading before that. And a lot of the stuff I was reading, I didn't really know how to use. So I was like reading about different dynamical systems and different properties that they have and different theorems about them. And I would just had no idea how I was going to use these tools to do something that was relevant. Uh, and then, well, the, the week before Christmas happened and, uh, 
it went so well. But yeah, so I have this, like, notebook of stuff um, that I started at the beginning of the fall, sort of like part of the summer too, but like most of this was just scribblings from the fall and all of this. Ooh, I'm on the page with my theorem. Um, anyway, so, uh, I went through and I like sat down and I was like, okay, I'm going to look through all of this stuff and figure out if the generalization that we want to do works. And I just, it was one of those like hyper focus moments where you forget to eat food. Uh, so for about like a week, I was like, oh my gosh, this works. And I sat down and I proved some things and then I broke some stuff and had to fix it. And I just, I just did it and it worked out. Uh, and it's very exciting. I need, I'm having a meeting with my advisor before the semester starts to be like, hello, this is so cool. Uh, and it finally feels like I'm not going to walk away with nothing, uh, in terms of like, my goal was to get a PhD and it feels like I'm at a point now where I'm not going to, like, there's not, unless like something financially disastrous happens, which is always a pop possibility because I am poor, but, uh, just grad student things. But, um, as long as like the world around me does not collapse, I feel like I'm going to be able to graduate with a PhD. I feel like I have made progress on results and I can say stuff about my area that is like, well, one, I, I feel like I can communicate it better. And two, I feel like I can actually like work within that field of material. There's still some stuff that I am not super confident in my ability to work with that's in my like research area. And uh, one of those like fundamental things is like transfer operators. And it's like fine after I spend an hour working, like looking at it and then I start to work with it. But if I just like jump in cold to being like, this is what a transfer operator is, I butcher it every single time. So I have some work to do there. But uh, in terms of like my stuff, I can like sit down and I think I can like be like, okay, this is why we're doing what we're doing. And this is the goal and yada, yada, yada. Um, it's also kind of funny cause, uh, the first couple of like smaller results that I proved this semester for my dissertation were actually like corrections to someone else's paper, uh, which feels weird that my dissertation is like in it is going to be like, so we read this paper and uh, we found this flaw that if these other things that were published after it did not exist, this paper would have been invalid. But, but now it's fine and we're going to make sure to tell you why it's fine and then also push it to what I do. At the beginning of doing this dissertation work and doing the background reading for it, we started with one paper and we found an issue with it and uh, we couldn't resolve the issue or there wasn't like an obvious thing to do that fixed the problem with the paper. And you like email the authors and be like, hey, so you say that this is trivial. Uh, it really doesn't feel like it. And it, there are counter examples that we construct. So what did you mean? And you get an email back that's like, oh, well, it's this, this and this. And you're just like, you still haven't told me, told me anything. So, um, we had to like drop that paper and then just like scrap that project and start over. So I've, I've been at the point of like, oh, I'm not going to leave grad school with a dissertation at all. I'm just going to like masters out cause I'm going to run out of time or something bad is going to happen. And I'm just going to have to stop. Um, but now over the past semester, I've gotten to the point where I feel like that is not true, where I feel like I can, I'm. May, I've made solid progress on my dissertation. I have results that say things that are non-trivial. And I feel like I have a better understanding of what I do. Um, which is, like, really nice. Uh, so, dissertation stuff. This is, this is, this is, uh, dissertation stuff has also gone really, really well this year, too. That's, like, most of, like, the math stuff. 
Like, there's other smaller things. Like, I taught Honors Calculus 1 for the first time, and then I also taught a probability mo models class this year. And both of those were really cool experiences, because a lot of the classes I've taught before have been for folks that are not necessarily interested in math. And so a lot of the time spent in those classes were was like a lot of just like, okay, I, I want to motivate to you why we might care about this thing. Uh, and you still do that when you're working with people who are more mathematically oriented, but you get to like do that at more depth. So you can talk about particular problems or you can do like harder things to demonstrate how something might be interesting to work with. Teaching those classes were like really satisfying experiences. Um, I think I made Cal 1 too hard, uh, which is just like notes for me to go back and like change some things about how I do it. Uh, but on the flip side of that, of making Cal 1 too hard, because I had a student come into my office hours and be like, I wanted to show you my Cal 2 grades. They're all amazing. And I was like, that's great. And they were like, yeah, you totally made, it prepared me for this class, which is like kind of the point. Uh, I feel like that's, it's better to like have a hard Cal 1 and an easy Cal 2 than to have an easy Cal 1 and a hard Cal 2. Because I think that like, Cal 2 really scares a lot of people away from math. And at a lot of places, it's like the the first brick wall between you and continuing on in math. But I could talk about like pedagogy and thoughts about teaching things and teaching philosophy and all that stuff. I can talk about that later. That's not the point of this video. Uh, so teaching stuff also went well. Grad school is going well. I finally feel like I'm getting somewhere and things are going very, very well. So that kind of wraps up all of like the academic things that I did this year in terms of like math stuff uh, and progress towards the whole PhD thing. Um, YouTube stuff also re went really well this year. Uh, I didn't do what I was supposed to do. I know that this is true. I don't know if I'm allowed to say what that means, uh, but uh, I still did more than last year, even though it doesn't feel like that. So uh, if you follow my channel at all or watch any of the things that I put out, uh, you you know that I'm very sporadic about doing that. I often am like, oh, I'm going to do more, and then I don't. Uh, I'm very bad at committing to doing things on here because I have to make sure that my basic needs are met as a graduate student who was poor. Uh, and in order to do that, I have to sometimes put this on hold and go do other things to make sure that I can, you know, afford food. Uh, so that aside, um, I did sort of hit my goal for this year. I published more videos. I had increases across all of my metrics, um, across the board, even though it feels like I didn't do anything. And the reason it feels like I didn't do anything is because even though I published 25 videos this year, they all came out in the span of like two and a half months or something like that. Uh, from, let's see, I have the analytics open. I'll put a graph of like videos published, which is what I'm looking at. So from like May 14th to uh, July 4th was when I published all of the things that I did this year with the exception of like two one-off videos one of them in September, where I talked about the beginning of the semester, and then one um, in October, where I did like a video essay on math thing, um, which was an experiment that I wanted to do for a very long time. That video, so the, the video essay that I did at the in October um, on the two more sequence, um, that video probably took like the most effort and the most editing and the most time of anything I've ever made ever before, uh, and didn't do that great, which is, but it's, it was fine. It was for me. Um, and I kind of, my YouTube stuff was sort of inverted. I did it wrong. I did what you're not supposed to do as an education channel or like someone that focuses more on like academic material in this online space in that I did all of my like batched normal standard content. I did all of that right as school was getting out into the summer. And then I did like 
the experiments for my channel, which was that video essay. I did that in the middle of the semester. So uh, that should be inverted. And that's sort of the goal for next year, and hence why I am sitting down to film this, and then along with like seven other videos, or eight other videos that I have on the docket, um, just before the new year, so that I am like running with with the whole start of things. 62% increase in views, 62% increase in watch time, 81% increase in uh, new subscribers, uh, and monetarily, did I make more money on YouTube than I did last year? I think I did. Yeah, I made, I made about like 50% increase in revenue, um, too, which is like cool. But again, like that, that money like goes into a, a like a account that I don't touch uh, for and so so that I can make sure like tax things are okay. Like, I think that's a good place to stop this update. So we're gonna edit this. We're gonna get it out on the first. So happy new year to everyone, and uh, here's to a better. 2024. If you enjoy these updates, there are more of them. You can go back in time. You can see when I was more of a sad human in my grad program or just like trying to figure things out or stressed. Um, all of those emotions have occurred at some point, but I'm, yeah, they're all there. So if you enjoy these updates, you can subscribe for more of them in the future and also for to see the ones from the past. Uh, I also make math videos on here, as I've mentioned. So if you would like to see me talk about math stuff, that's a thing you can do too. Uh, but yeah, 2024, let's go. It's gonna be good. Uh, okay, that's it. See ya. How did I me I messed up the cover the lens thing. You I've never messed up the cover the lens thing. You just hand to the lens.